The table below shows the value V of an investment in dollars N years after 1990. So notice how in the first row we have N, the number of years after 1990. In the second row we have V, the value of the investment in dollars. Determine the linear regression equation that models the set of data above and use this equation to answer the questions below, round to the nearest hundredth or two decimal places as needed. We begin by performing the regression on the TI-84. The first step is to enter the data into the calculator. To do this, we press STAT and then ENTER. We will enter the N values in the first column and the V values in the second column. Notice how there is some old data in L1. To clear this quickly, we go up to the top of the column, press CLEAR, and then ENTER. And now we enter the N values in L1. Once we have the N values in, we press the right arrow to go to L2 and enter the V values. Now that we have the data in the calculator, we go back to the home screen by pressing second mode for quit and perform a linear regression. We press stat, right arrow wants to calculate, option four for linear regression. So we press four. On this screen, we have the N values in L1 and the V values in L2. So we do not change the first two rows. In the third row, we are not using a frequency list. So we leave this blank. In the fourth row, we could store the equation in, for example, Y1, but we don't need to for this question, so we'll skip that, go down to calculate, and press enter. Notice A is the coefficient of X, which is the slope, and B is the constant, which is the vertical intercept. And we're told to round to the hundredths, or two decimal places, and therefore A is approximately 313.25, and B is approximately 7,598.24, which means our regression equation in terms of N and V is V equals 313.25N plus 7,598.24. And now let's take a look at our questions. First, based on this regression model, the value of the investment was how many dollars in the year 1990? Well, notice N is the number of years after 1990, so we called 1990 the base year, which means N equals zero represents the year 1990. But we also know because the equation is in slope-intercept form, B, the constant term, is the y-intercept, but it's also the initial value, and therefore, the starting value in 1990 was $7,598.24. Notice how if we did substitute zero for N into the equation, we would have V equals 313.25 times zero. Again, because N equals zero represents the year 1990, and then plus 7,598.24, which of course gives us the same value of $7,598.24. Next, based on the regression model, the value of this investment is increasing or decreasing at a rate of how many dollars per year? We can answer this question by identifying the slope of our regression equation. Remember, slope is m, and therefore, for our equation, the slope m is the coefficient of n. So the slope m, which represents the constant rate of change, or in our case, the change of v divided by the change in n, is equal to 313.25. Let's write that as a fraction with the denominator of 1. So we have 313.25 all over 1, where the units for the values in dollars and N is in years. So because the slope is positive, this indicates the investment is increasing at a rate of $313.25 per year, which is the information we need. 
Based on the regression model, the value of this investment is increasing because the slope is positive at a rate of $313.25 per year. I hope you found this helpful.